Hi, I'm Re. Welcome back to my channel, Mummy of Four Does Disney. Today I have a big Christmas Disney haul video for you. It's got a few different bits in it. We've got some Christmas themed items that you're going to want to use leading up to Christmas, bags, clothing, accessories, that kind of thing. And then we're moving on to like Christmas gift ideas for your Disney fans, your Disney lovers, or maybe a little gift for yourself if you're a Disney fan and you need treating in the festive season and those things would be good gifts for Christmas that could be used beyond Christmas. Now almost all of the items in this haul are from Very Nico. Some of them are newly gifted PR products, some of them are previously gifted and some of them I've bought myself. So I've marked this video as an ad in order to be super transparent but I just thought I'd let you know that's what the setup is. Now the first item I've got to show you I'm kind of in love with, and it's my first ever Christmas Disney lounge flight. This bag is just stunning. It is the Christmas cookies bag. It's got the Disney lounge fly, little metal plate on the side, Christmas Minnie and Mickey cookies all over. And then in the front, check this out, it has got a poppered in ear pouch with these fabulous Disney ears. The Loungefly Disney ears are really another level when it comes to quality. They're really sturdy and padded and beautiful. All of the Loungefly bags are described as vegan leather. So they kind of leather feel but no animals were harmed in the making of them. Now something that is worth mentioning about Loungefly bags specifically on the Very Nico website. When I last checked, this bag and ear combo was actually newly out of stock. It's worth checking, I will link it below to see if it's back in stock. The ears were in stock when I last checked, but my point is the Loungefly bags specifically are not sticking around forever. A lot of them are limited edition. So if you see something you're in love with and you're kind of dithering, you need to kind of place the order if you don't want to be disappointed because I had so many people messaging me after I did a little reel about this bag saying, oh, it's out of stock and I really wanted it. I mean, look at the zip, it's just gorgeous. So by all means check back because I did phone them and they said there may be another one in a separate warehouse or whatever. So check if it's in stock. But failing that, they do have this gingerbread bag come into stock very soon. I think it's available to order in their catwalk club, which is their kind of secret shop club. So you pay $4.99 a month for the subscription, but if you're gonna shop regularly, that's worth it because you save on delivery, which is your $4.99, and you get 10% off everything. So I'll put the details for their catwalk club down below. If you are a loungefly lover, it's well worth looking into it. Inside this bag, the lining is just gorgeous. As with many of the bags, it's got this secret pouch on the inside. I personally use that when I'm out vlogging for spare batteries and SD cards so I can grab them quickly. But anything, it's nice to have like a subdivided pouch within a bag, I find, just so that you can grab things easily. So I'm now actually gonna switch out my ears and we're gonna wear the cookie ones. They actually go better with my jumper, don't you think? This was dug out from last year. Yes, I think these cookie ears go much better. Now we're gonna go on to some Christmas jumpers. If you saw any of my recent Shop With Me and haul videos about Christmas, you'll now have been a bit disappointed in the selection of Christmas jumpers about on the high street, specifically for my boys. They all seem to be aimed at kind of gamers and my boys aren't really as into the computer games and things. William's got an iPad, he doesn't have an Xbox or anything. So I felt that the choice of jumpers to suit my children were quite limited. I've got some gorgeous ones from Very Nico though, so I'm really chuffed with these. This one for Dylan, my eldest, is a massive snuggly hoodie and it says Merry Scary Christmas. It is Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas is not my Disney favourite. As you know, I did actually get around to watching it and of all the films, I think I just don't get it. I just, I'm not as into that personally. That might be an unpopular opinion. However, my children really, really enjoy it and Dylan especially loves it. So that is a gorgeous hoodie. He's gonna love that. It's Christmas themed, Merry Scary Holidays with Jack and the girl I still can't remember the name of. 
Sorry, I do like her though, I think she's kind of cool. That's a nice Christmassy jumper that actually he can pull out from next Halloween as well and get kind of the double whammy wear on that. Then we've got this Nightmare Before Christmas red t-shirt also for Dylan with Jack Skellington and some Christmas lights. Then we've got this red t-shirt for William. I'm having to put it up on screen because I cannot physically find it at the time of filming. I believe that William has taken it and stashed it somewhere. It is a Mickey Christmas t-shirt. It's absolutely gorgeous. There were lots of Mickey t-shirts and things aimed at younger boys I found sort of out on the high street, but nothing for William's age. And William still really likes Mickey and Disney for Christmas t-shirts and jumpers and things, so I was really pleased to find that t-shirt for him, even if I can't physically find it right now at this moment. Now this one's not technically Disney, but I think I have to get over this rule of not being able to mention anything that isn't Disney on this channel or not being allowed to mention Disney on my main channel. It's silly, no one made up those rules other than me, they're my channels, I can do what I want, so. Here's a Hogwarts jumper. I'm sharing it now because it's from Very Nico. It came kind of in the same order. And I'm thrilled with it because it's a nice Christmas jumper. It's nice and it's like an oversized-ish one for William. It's a uh, large, which is kind of like um, an 11 to 12 and he's nearly 10, but it fits him really nicely. And it's just lovely. So he's really into Harry Potter at the moment. I think we might do a Harry Potter world trip. Uh, there's one near London next summer perhaps when he's read a few more of the books he's reading the books at the moment and really really enjoying them we weren't planning on doing universal studios when we go to florida is that a big mistake should we do universal on our florida trip we have got disney park tickets included for every day of our trip so i feel like we'd have to give up a disney day in order to do universal if anyone's got any thoughts on that i would be really interested to hear them in the comments but anyway what do you think of that i think that's really lovely just an alternative Christmas jumper if your child is just not that into gaming. Because honestly, all of the Christmas jumpers I saw, all about gaming. Now the next one is for Bella. I find Zara has got loads and loads of Christmas jumpers because she's got all the ones that Bella has grown out of. So she's got loads. Bella has suddenly shot up, so needs a few more. This one, I'm actually really jealous of and I kind of want in my size. It says Enchanted Winter Party and it's got the silhouette of Rapunzel, Cinderella and her favourite, Belle. It's just gorgeous. My children do tend to wear Christmas jumpers pretty much every day of December. The school are kind of cool with it. Why not spread the Christmas joy and make the most of the holiday season, even before the holidays start? So that is definitely one that she will wear over her uniform as one of the Christmas jumper days. Now, if you are looking for Disney Christmas jumpers, Very Nico had a really lovely selection on their website. I will link it below. I really fancied a red one with a Mickey silhouette and snowflakes on it for myself. I promised myself I wouldn't get that until I had dug out my Christmas jumpers to see how many I already had. Do I need one extra? Possibly. Should I get that one? I did really love it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, although I know what you're all going to say. You're going to say, get it, Reed, because you're all really bad influencers. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Frozen counts as Christmas, yes, but also is a sensible investment because you can continue to wear frozen things after Christmas. Now this, I was gifted in the very Nico frozen event that we went to, and I barely dropped out of this actually, so full disclosure, I'm not sure how clean it is, I took this out of my bedroom just now. This is so comfy, it's got really like big pockets of it, it's really like lovely and oversized on me, a big hood on it, I just love it, and it says, the journey connects us. So it doesn't, it's not a direct reference to Christmas, but frozen snow, Christmas, I think it counts. Now the children's section, again, these were gifted in the Veronico Frozen event. This um, has been worn by Zara and has got chocolate on it. So <laughs> this clearly needs to go in the wash. But um, this is the five to six Olaf head rush of fun. There is actually a frozen Christmas special isn't there have you seen that where olaf goes around and looks for christmas traditions it's really really sweet you can find that on disney plus also since disney plus day have you seen olaf presents where olaf talks about different films and in the same way that he does in frozen 2 and summarizes the story of frozen 1 he summarizes the stories of the lion king moana things like that it is so funny i laughed all the way through it and we did wear our frozen jumpers and things to watch that so that one is the 11 to 12 just to give you an idea of sizing that is William sized jumper and this one is a 7 to 8 which is a Bella sized jumper and although they are white 
um, so I'm not sure if they'll come back from school white, they will count as another one of their Christmas jumpers that they'll wear over December, but also they can get away with wearing them after Christmas. So frozen things do make good investments as Christmas jumpers, but also good Christmas gifts too. And then we've got my grey I love warm hugs Olaf sweatshirt. I tend to go for mediums in sweatshirts and hoodies and things because I like them a bit more oversized even though I'd probably go for a small if I was just wearing a normal top. And then we've also got these which are two sisters one heart frozen t-shirts. Again that's a five to six and a seven to eight for size comparison. This is an adult t-shirt. I think this one was Dylan's this gifted to him in the Frozen event. That is a Wild About Adventure t-shirt with Kristoff and Sven. Now, these are really fun. You will have seen us doing some of these in that vlog. These are t-shirts, Frozen t-shirts, designed to colour in. So you get fabric pens. I will link the ones that we have below. It's important that you put some nice thick cardboard in between the layers so the fabric pens don't leak through to the back. And then once you've sort of given that a little wash, the fabric pens set and you've got your own designed t-shirt. Bella really enjoyed that because she actually wants to be a fashion designer when she's older. So she really, really enjoyed that little activity. So we've got another couple of these to do, which I'm sure we'll do on a rainy day very soon. And here's another colour in t-shirt with the sisters, Elsa and Anna on it. And then we've also got some pyjamas, which would make a nice gift. These are I Love Warm Hugs pyjamas with the grey bottoms. And then we've got some, these are Williams I think, Wild About Adventure pyjamas with the grey bottoms too. So I can kind of twin with William a little bit in the pyjama department. So hopefully as we'll just do that in the house, I wouldn't embarrass him too much. Now a few of those frozen items would cross over for both wearing up to Christmas and making good Christmas gifts. I've got another few frozen bits that are going to make some really good Christmas gifts before we move on to some a lounge fly Christmas gift picks. So we've got this frozen notebook. I'm not sure if you can see just how glittery sparkly that is. It's a 200 page notebook. It's got Olaf on the inside too and it's really, really cute. A lovely stocking filler. And then these cups, my children have been absolutely loving. This is one that we haven't opened but they've actually got some of these that we've got in our cupboard, and I've put name stickers on them so they know whose is whose. So it's got Elsa on one side, Trust Your Journey on the other. You can see in there they are full of glitter, which is really cool. Kind of double wall insulated, so if you put a cold drink in there it doesn't leak and drip all over your surfaces. It comes with a reusable straw. Really cute little gift. Last frozen items now before we move on to some more Disney films and characters. These are Funko Pops, which again came from that frozen event and make really cute little gifts. We've got an Elsa and we've got an Anna. Now in that event, Zara ripped hers directly out of the box, but apparently people do collect these and they keep them in the boxes. They are numbered, so they again come in like limited edition. So Funko Pops. Is it something you collect? Have you never heard of them before? I'm very new to these. These are the first Funko Pops that we've had. I've actually just pinched these out of Bella's bedroom to show you in this video. Now, one more thing before we move on to the lounge fly. If you've been following me for a while on my main channel, you'll know that for a very long time I have been in love with Mary Poppins, or Julie Andrews in general actually. Sound of Music and Mary Poppins are two of my favourite films ever. When I was little I wanted to be Maria from The Sound of Music when I grew up. It was my life ambition. I do have four children, not quite seven, but close enough. Anyway, I often say over on my main channel when the parenting gets a bit much I try and channel my inner Mary Poppins. I talk about Mary Poppins a lot because she always keeps her cool and she only has to snap her fingers to tidy the place up, which is the dream. So you can imagine my delight when I found this Mary Poppins umbrella that I bought for myself as a treat from me to me. So it says Mary Poppins on here. It's a massive kind of like golfing umbrella, which should I really put up in my house? Oh, because it's gonna go everywhere. If I don't put it up all the way, it's not bad luck, is it? It says <laughs> Mary Poppins and practically perfect in every way 
on the umbrella. There you go. Before anyone panics, I did not put that umbrella all the way up. I put it ju up just enough to show you the writing so nobody worry about luck if anyone is superstitious. But I love this umbrella. I really needed a big, big umbrella because I live in Wales and it rains a lot and I get really wet picking my children up from school. And what better way to channel my inner Mary Poppins than by being Mary Poppins with the actual umbrella. I just need to figure out how to make it fly and definitely how to do the tidy up click thing. Now the next item I have to show you is actually a Christmas present for my very lovely auntie. So if my very lovely auntie, you know who you are, is watching this video, kindly turn it off right now because I'm about to show your Christmas present. Have you done it? Are you gone? Excellent. If you saw this video, you will know that she is obsessed with penguins because in that video I bought her a lovely penguin blanket that I saw while we were shopping and just had to get it for her for her birthday. As we've previously discussed, she loves penguins, I love Mary Poppins. How stunning is this wallet? It's got the penguins from Mary Poppins and look on the other side, it's got Mary and Bert. So this is very special. In fact, when I was very little, I was in a show when I was dancing. I used to dance a lot when I was little, um, up until I left school actually. Anyway, I was in a show, we were dancing to Mary Poppins dresses and she made all my costumes for it. So it's a little special thing between us. And then inside the wallet, it's got a little space for coins here. It's also got this gorgeous penguin print just through here and space for cards and things. I personally love this wallet. I think she's gonna love it too. So how gorgeous is that? I kinda want one myself, although I do already have. Let me just show you what I have got. I'm not gonna open this one up because it's actually got my stuff in it, but I do actually have this very lovely, let me go if I cover, <laughs> I cover my cards, I can show you what I've got. It's got cards on this side. Um, this I've just literally taken from my handbag now. And that one is actually, if you're looking for a size comparison, the Minnie Mouse wallet's actually a fair bit smaller than the Mary Poppins one. So that's probably more sensible for me because I carry a lot of stuff in my bag rather than having a big wallet. But isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it gorgeous? Okay, speaking of Mary Poppins, as you may or may not know, we are heading to Florida in January, which is very, very exciting. We're heading there for two weeks. We're gonna do all of the parks. And if you saw my cruise vlog series, you will know that there will be a lot of Disney branding. So there will be a lot of planning of outfits, which will hopefully match certain rides, certain characters. And obviously they're gonna be based largely around bags. So you can imagine my sheer delight when I discovered this Mary Poppins lounge fly bag. So before we go on the trip, I will put together a Disney bounding haul video just to show you all the different outfits and things. Then there will be pack with me videos and things for all the outfits that we will be taking. So make sure you subscribe to the channel for that. But I've actually ordered, I don't know how similar it'll be to this, just a white lace kind of a 50s dress. And I'm planning to put a red belt with that to Disney bound as Mary Poppins. Then maybe just like a little red or white hairband, something like that. And then I can use this bag. How gorgeous is it? So it's got the penguins on the side, both sides actually. On the back, it says Jolly Holiday. I do also adore pink, which you'll probably know if you've been following me for a little while. It's got the Disney Lounge Fly uh, little metal plaque, which is kind of a pale pink color. And then on the inside, look at the penguin print. It's so beautiful. It's got the standard hideaway, pop my memory cards in it kind of pouch. I'm in love with this bag. I'm just absolutely in love with it. And I've got to say, just as some things are not just for Christmas, Disney Lounge fly bags, I'm here to tell you, are not just for the parks. I use these bags all the time. I used to carry more like an actual handbag. I don't do that so much anymore, partly because these bags are so stunning and partly because my physio told me that I was wrecking my neck carrying a heavy bag on one side. So these bags with two straps on them are just downright sensible. That's all I can say to you, sort of. So <laughs> these are the straps. They can be made shorter. When the girls use them, they borrow my lounge fly sometimes. Then what I do is I tuck the strap through here to make it a lot shorter because um, all these, though these bags are not designed for children, I do allow my girls to borrow them from time to time. And indeed my boys, in fact, I've got some lounge fly that the boys will be borrowing for the parks. Anyway, what I do is I tuck the strap in like that and as you can see, that shortens the strap considerably and makes it more kind of child-friendly sized. So what do we think of Mary? She's beautiful. 
I cannot wait to try on my Mary Poppins Disney bound outfit to see what you guys think. The next bag I have to show you that is a contender for going to the Disney parks, but it would also make an amazing Christmas gift is this Sorcerer Mickey bag from Fantasia. The whole bag, all the bottom is kind of this velvety fabric with then the little yellow to kind of indicate the rope. I'm really tempted actually to just get a very plain red dress. This bag, they do ears actually, which I would have to get from Very Nico, which look very similar to this and would match beautifully. And then just put a gold belt. I think that would be like a really simple but really lovely elegant Disney bound. Then on the back of the bag, you've got Mickey Mouse. William really likes Fantasia, so he may use this bag a little in Florida, but I've got to show you this. Inside, so inside, the lining is gorgeous. We've got the classic hideaway pouch. There's also a pouch on the front of this one, but in here, there is a little switch, and with the little switch, I'm not sure if you can see this with the lights. Ah, uh, you can't see it. Hang on, let me turn the lights on. Now can you see it? Yay! In normal lights, you can see it much better than with my kind of ring light and studio lights. And so, that bag with the lighter Mickey on the hat, I just adore. If you prefer a crossbody bag, there is a crossbody version of this bag that you can get your hands on too. Mickey, you can go there. The next bag I have to show you, William is especially excited about because he's obsessed with Star Wars and it is an ideal bag for the galaxy's edge when we go to the Star Wars section of Disney Hollywood Studios. Look at this beautiful Darth Vader bag. I know, did you think you'd say the words beautiful and Darth Vader in the same sentence? You didn't, did you? But it's gorgeous. So it's got the shiny straps, which are very, very Vader. On the back, it says in a very subtle way, come to the dark side. It's got a little Star Wars fighter thingy. Is it called an X-Wing? I want to say X-Wing. I'm not sure if that's what it's really called. And then inside the lining is kind of very Death Star? Is that the Death Star? I have seen Star Wars a number of times. I'm just not an absolute expert on it like my sons. Inside we've got the standard lounge fly little zippy pouch. And then on the side, it doesn't actually say Disney lounge fly, it says Star Wars lounge fly. So I adore that bag, I think. Even though I do like Star Wars, I'm not like obsessed with Star Wars or anything like my, my boys. That is going to look so fab in the Galaxy's Edge. I think William is hoping to carry that bag, or perhaps still, and perhaps they'll have to scrap over it. There is also a Kylo Ren bag, which Veronica have got coming out. I'm not sure if that is out. Maybe it will be out by the time that this video goes live, but I will link that bag. So check that link. Keep checking back on that link until it goes live. So when we head to Star Wars The Galaxy's Edge, my plan is to Disney bound as R2-D2. I have got a dress that I've got picked out ready for that, which I will show you in that Disney Bounty video that I've got coming up. But look at the bag, look at the bag, people. This is a really sensible size because it's huge, so I'll be able to fit loads in it. It's got really cute lining with R2-D2 and BB-8 in there. And it's got the Star Wars lounge fly again, the little plaque, and one side's R2-D2 and the other side is BB-8. So I just think that's really cool. It's a really lovely size of bag and it's gonna look so cool with my R2-D2 little dress. R2-D2, can you sit up there? Can you? Maybe I'll have to turn you around to you. There you go, you sit like that. Okay, I've got so much stuff in all over the floor of my office now, I literally can't find anything. Oh no. The next bag I have to show you is so beautiful and so versatile. Would make an amazing gift for any Disney fan and it's this all over print, Disney princesses, kind of in the animator style of drawing. So we've got Belle, Tiana, Jasmine, Rapunzel, Ariel, is that all of them? Oh and Mulan, Mulan's on there too. The little plaque is on the front for this one and the lining is gorgeous, it's kind of just hand drawn in black and white with all the princesses with your classic, this one's got a non-zip pouch but it has got that pouch where you can keep your bits and bobs separate in your bag got these greeny kind of highlights on the straps and the detailing, I love it. So this would be a really versatile bag if you are heading to the parks, because obviously you could Disney bound as any of these princesses and your bag would instantly match. So do you have any lounge fly? Before we go on to the next one, let me know if you have any lounge fly and if you use them just for Disney parks or if you use them in everyday life too. Personally, I love 
using these bags in my day-to-day -day life. I find them really, really handy. I've, I've always got loads to carry between like cameras and vlogging bits and things. And they are the perfect size to walk back and forth to school or heading out for the day just to have your bits and pieces with you. And they're just so pretty. It just makes me really, really happy to use such gorgeous things and just bring a little bit of Disney magic into my everyday life. Now this bag, my daughter Bella went absolutely mad when she saw, and it is this bag, which highlights all of Belle from Beauty and the Beast's dresses. So you can see it's got her traditional blue village dress, as Zara calls it, the yellow dress where she dances with the beast, the green dress I th that she does wear like around the castle a bit, and then the like pinky, purpley dress that she wears out in the snow. This bag is just stunning. I love the kind of sketched kind of style of it. It's really beautiful. It's got a massive pouch on the front. I can pull down to show you the lining, which is Beauty and the Beast 30th anniversary lining. So it's got Belle in her pinky dress and Belle in her yellow dress as well. I will admit, <laughs> A little bit of why I called Bella, Bella, although her name is technically Isabella, but a little bit of why she's called Bella is because Bella is my favourite princess. It was the first uh, cuddly toy that I bought for her. She had it as a little present on William's birthday. She was just five weeks old and she had her first ever Belle doll. Soft, cuddly one, and she has loved Belle ever since. So this bag is quite a good size inside if you just compare. So Mary and Belle are like a little bit bigger than say, your Darth Vader type size bag. This one's also got side pouches on it and it's got the Disney Lounge Fly on the front. It is another all over print and it is worth mentioning that the Belle and the little animator princesses are exclusive to Very Nico. So you're not actually gonna be able to find those anywhere else. They have got a wish list facility as well, which I keep adding things to. So if you are looking for things for yourself or shopping out for ideas for Christmas for your friends and family, then be sure to add them to your wish list. I have got a referral link below and also a discount code if it is your very first order that you can take advantage of. Ooh, what's this? The next thing I have to show you may make a good gift for someone heading to the parks. It's some lounge fly ears from Very Nico. I love that the lounge fly ears come in these little bags, much like a fancy handbag would. And these are just beautiful. They actually have a lounge fly bag which matches these and is just gorgeous and rainbow and beautiful and what could be better than that? So perhaps mini ears are a little bit more just for the parks, not for just walking around wherever you live. Whereas the bags I definitely use all the time in my day-to-day -day life, every single day. I probably would only wear ears to the parks or to a specific Disney event. Are you with me there? But they are really, really gorgeous. Um, so if you're looking for a little Christmas present for yourself or someone else, if they are heading to a Disney event, then they have a really good range of ears on the Berry Nico website. A few special mentions I don't have here to show you, but I've seen on the site and they're in my wish list. They're just amazing. There is a Monsters Inc. They've got two actually. They've got, they've got the Monsters Inc. backpack, which has got Boo, Sully, and Mike Wazowski on it. Because I just think my youngest daughter Zara would make an excellent Boo. Do you not? If you've seen Zara in any of my videos, you'll know what I mean. And then they've also got a crossbody bag that's one of the doors, which I just loved. They've got two different Aladdin bags that I absolutely love. They've got a crossbody bag and they've also got a backpack which were just stunning. If you're into Aladdin, go and check those out. As well as just so many other bags. Just realised I haven't got any ears on, let's put those back on. And then all of the bags that are available for pre-order only are available in their secret shop and when you are a Catwalk member then you get the 10% off all of your orders and the free delivery. So all the details for that will be in the link below too. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this Christmassy themed Disney haul. You've got some good gift ideas. Make sure you are subscribed because upcoming we have all of the Disney bound outfit planning, the pack with me videos, and then all of the vlogs when we go to Florida. Until then, I will leave you with my Disney Magic at Sea UK Cruise vlog series. You can check that out for a little bit of Disney Magic on the Magic, plus some more videos on screen now for you to choose from. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.